Looking ahead now, as our kids head back to school, we're talking with the American Red Cross about safety measures that we should all keep in mind and talk with our kids about. Every month, I like to check in with the organization. We're joined now with Phil Martinez with the American Red Cross of Colorado and Wyoming, the Southeastern Division here. Thanks so much for being here today, Phil. Katie, it's always a pleasure to talk to you every month. Thank Same. You. I always appreciate it. First, let's talk about bus stop safety. What should we talk to our kids about? Y you know, I think it's important to make sure that the kids are aware of unfortunately foreseen events and certainly disasters and those bus stops are very important making sure that they have proper lighting as they go to the bus stop because it's still very dark and I'm uh, making sure is you got older kids as well that they wear their seat belts to school and uh, some of the basics that are necessary to make sure that you uh, really emphasize that to your child and parents may want to talk to their kids or even walk their kids to school the first week just to get them comfortable with that route right it is so important you want them especially if they're first time students and entering school you want to make sure that they are are comfortable with that route uh, and it was interesting you know Katie uh, I was talking to a teacher just yesterday and we were talking a little bit about uh, safety for the kids mm -hmm. and she was emphasizing this is coming from her most kids do not have their own phone number they don't remember their own phone number they don't remember their parents they don't know where their children work and that's certainly something that's very important for safety as well is to teach your kids where you work and the address and actual phone numbers and not just hit a little button I was telling <laughs> you I've been working on that with my little kiddos too, yeah. you know, where do you live? What are your parents' names? Those are important things to do, especially before they head, head back to school. Now, a big message for all of us, all drivers, slow down. Absolutely, so important to slow down. See the red lights, you have to stop. It's mandatory that you do that. Now that school's back in session, a lot of these kids who are driving themselves to school, they're newer drivers. Be careful on the roadways. Absolutely, you think about it, 16 years of age and a little bit older than that, you know, reminder to wear your seatbelt, making sure that you're going for the first time and show a little cautious, uh, a little caution to the kids as they're out on the roads mm -hmm. early in the morning and right after school as well. So important that parents are aware of their school safety plan as well. Katie, I get so many phone calls at the Red Cross, people wondering, well, what, what do you mean by that? Well, uh, talk to the principal, talk to the assistant principal about the safety plan that the school has in place for those unforeseen events or uh, a disaster. You should know that as a parent as well, and no better time to educate than now. Such great advice. As always, Phil, thank you so much for being here with us. It's always a treat, Katie. Thank you it so is. much. The American Red Cross, they're always looking for volunteers. If you want more information or to sign up, just head to our website, kktv.com, and click on that Find It tab. We'll be right back.